According to the CDC, one in four adults in the U.S. have some type of disability. So our next guest has made it her mission to represent people with disabilities across different industries, helping businesses better engage with people with disabilities and also help those individuals find incredible opportunities. So we're very excited to be joined right now by Mindy Shire, the CEO of Gamut Management. Mindy, such a pleasure to have you here. So you actually launched a nonprofit, Runaway for Dreams, back in 2014, all because of your own experience, because you have a son with uh, muscular dystrophy. Correct. So talk us through how this all sort of came about here. So I uh, always wanted to be a fashion designer. And I can see by what, how you're dressed for you. today. Thank you. Um, and the irony is, uh, beautiful irony, honestly, is that one of my children has a rare form of muscular dystrophy. And the very thing that I love more than anything is getting dressed every day. And for him, it was a daily reminder of what he could not do. So in 2014, I decided to take my background and have a small goal of changing the fashion industry to be inclusive of people with disabilities. Uh, so you are no rookie to this industry whatsoever. No. You've been in this industry as, as a stylist and a designer for over 20 years. Have you sort of seen this industry evolve and have it become a little bit more inclusive now? Well, the amazing thing is it's a very exciting time to be in fashion. Um, in all of my years of being in the industry, I had never heard of adaptive I didn't even know anything about it until Oliver came into our life. So now to think about inclusivity, that it, it is a part of, you know, size inclusive as well as ability inclusive. And that's really been the mission to make sure that the industry really understands that people come in all different shapes, sizes, and abilities. And we've really been seeing that over the course of the last few years as well. What are sort of your hopes for the future of the industry? I mean, I know you mentioned it being more inclusive and, and more approving of sizes, but what's sort of what your hopes are for the industry? My hope is really that adaptive becomes a category in the industry, no different than plus size or petite. It is really understanding that, again, we can modify clothing to make sure that everybody is really able to wear it because if it works for somebody with a disability, it works for everyone. True, that's a good point. And given the fact that how many people have a disability in this world, Kohl's, Tar uh, Target, Tommy Hilfiger, Victoria's Secret, just some of the brands that you've worked with over your career. Walk us through how these companies are making change happen when it comes to the adaptive space. Well, the most exciting part is that before we partnered with Tommy Hilfiger in 2016, there were zero mainstream wow. brands in the adaptive space. So wow. once that happened, it really opened up the, the floodgates, so to speak, for other brands to understand that people with disabilities are consumers. So the fact, just even the brands that you mentioned in a relatively short amount of time are putting resources, money, and people behind really understanding that this is the future of fashion. And we're watching this runway, which is really sort of amazing. I can only imagine how each one of these individuals felt when they were walking down the runway. Gamut Management, also a consulting company, you guys have represented over 800 people with disabilities as a talent management company. So how do you sort of feel like you're creating more opportunities for so many individuals here? Well, Gamut really happened organically, that suddenly when other industries, like the entertainment industry, started reaching out to run Wave Dreams to really be connected to people with disabilities, it became very clear that another company needed to be born, and it was Gamut Management. And Gamut really works with brands to not only help develop and create product all the way through to marketing and advertising, but we exclusively represent people with disabilities. And as you mentioned, we have over 800 talent globally. It's actually increasing every wow. week of all different ages, ethnicities, disabilities, because we believe that there really is no way to get into the adaptive space without including people with disabilities at every step of the journey. Right, and the connections are so vital Absolutely. in a situation like that. So what are your plans and your future plans for Gamut and maybe your dreams for this company? And also more importantly, how can people get involved in this? Well, we actually just launched a couple of weeks ago via Forbes um, that we um, just announced a Gamut seal of approval, which we're really excited about. Is Congratulations. Very, thank you. The very first certification in the adaptive space so that not only can the uh, population know that a company really did the proper, authentic ways to create adaptive products, but a company can also show the world that they 
They vetted this with people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. It was evaluated by experts in the space, and they can feel really confident about putting it into the world. So we're really, really and excited then, uh, about this, that. And then at the end of the day, then people then trust the brand as a exactly. result because it's gotten that seal it's of approval. It's a win-win. Absolutely. So what's your advice for younger individuals wanting to get into the fashion space? Because look, the fashion space is amazing, it's creative, and, and it's ever-evolving. What's your sort of advice to get into it? My advice is that just because something was done one way, classically through throughout the years, that doesn't mean it's the only way. No, nope, true. And that and and it's really time to to rethink the way that things have been done because really innovation plus design equals adaptive and and any other thought thought leaders in the space. And what's the, been the best advice you've ever received getting into this industry? Uh, the best advice I ever received was really that um, a, a no can be viewed as feedback. That it doesn't mean that's the end of your road. It's constructive. It's, it's constructive and it means that, okay, let's think about a different path. Absolutely. And that path is what led to a fashion revolution. And look where you are today. Mindy, such a pleasure to have you here. Mindy Shire is the CEO of Gamut Management. Mindy, thank you so thank much you and so congratulations much on all your me. success. And coming up next, we're going to learn about how women of color and capital is empowering women entrepreneurs and professionals all to learn about money. More Chatter Heard next.